welcome to Cheap Tips Art Stuff. My name is Julie and I'm here to impart some knowledge to you today via a two minute art tip. And today's tip is about looking at your subjects in a new way. So if things get stale, maybe look at changing the scale. And what I mean is sometimes it isn't the subject matter itself uh, or the treatment or the execution of that subject matter that's meh. But maybe it's just too perfect. Maybe it's just too conventional. Um, and it sometimes can get just a little like, ugh, you know, dull. So one of the things that I can tell you in terms of kind of upping your game and changing perspective is maybe looking at that same subject matter, but in a new way that you change the scale of that subject in its surroundings. Especially with human beings, there's certain conventions about how human beings are conveyed in a space. Um, so if it's outdoors, how they relate to objects that are in their environment, um, but changing the scale, maybe you make the, the little person a very, very, very small person, a large horizon, can make it much more interesting. Or doing like completely weird things like I've done um, right here, um, with this subject matter. Now generally in portraiture or when you're dealing with like close-ups of the human face, um, the convention is normally to make the subject matter's head the same size as a human head. So, you know, something like that. Well, as you can clearly see here, I did not do that, you know. And so one of the things that happens with that is it's kind of shocking. Like it's a little bit off. And it kind of draws the viewer in because there's something a little bit strange about it. And, you know, like, especially with this one here, <laughs> kind of, it's a little bit off-putting. Some people get weirded out by it because it feels like she's staring at you, you know. So just those little teeny alterations to subject matter can really, really change the way that you view things. Um, or if your subject has an understood size, um, be it like an elephant, like you know that they're gigantic and massive and heavy and stuff like that. Changing the environment or the scale of that subject in its environment can make it look very, very different. I have an example here that this is by Leah Saunier called Elephant in the Room. <laughs> and as you can see, it makes it elephant a whole lot more interesting because you have changed the scale and understanding of what that, how that elephant feels and like what it feels like to be that elephant and stuff. So it's an interesting take on like looking at your subjects and a new approach to addressing them. So hope this was helpful to you and we hope that you enjoy. <laughs>